Ready to match the stars from Hollywood Squares, Peter Marshall, Brett Summers, Dick Martin, Elaine Joyce, Bill Cullen, and Betty Weiss as we play the star-studded Big Money Match Game. And now, here's the star of Match Game, Gene Raymond. Wonderful day. Thank you, you for know? joining us. Now, there's one thing I want to clarify here. I want a two shot here next to Peter Marshall to prove that we are two different people. That's right. true. You are not now, nor have you ever been Eugene Rebessa, are you? Uh, I have been Pierre Lecoq. Oh, that's right. You're Pierre Lecoq. <laughs> that's right. All right, here we are. And I've been Encino with both of them. <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> Everyone all set to have a go at it. Oh, yes, are we Peter, up? we're uh, ready. Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, I'm Gene. Oh. That's Peter up there. <laughs> Would you join me in greeting Jan Appleby Dolder and Marsha Reskovich? <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you? All right. Welcome to both of you. Thank you. We have to get acquainted, so uh, Marsha, we'll begin with you. What would you like to tell us about yourself? I'm from Florida. Yes. I was born and raised there. Presently, we're living in Fort Myers. I've just had a baby boy. I went to gunnery school in Fort Myers. You just had a baby boy? That has nothing to do with my going to gunnery school there. Uh, although it was a pretty good shot, I must say that. He's what is your boy's name? Ryan. Ryan Joseph. Oh. Oreskovich. That's right. a Slavic name, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Sure is. Did you I know I'm a, I'm a Slav? Oh, are you? So is my husband. Really? <laughs> what kind of Slav is he? He's a wonderful Slav. A wonderful Slav? <laughs> I'm a Yugoslav. Yeah, so is he. Is he? Mm -hmm. No kidding. Yeah. Okay, anything else you want to say? I have an eight-year-old daughter named Alicia, and I'm just happy to be here. We're delighted to have you, and good luck to you, ma'am. Now, Jan, tell us about you, please. Okay, um, I don't have any babies. Um, I... Well, now, wait a minute. <laughs> All right. Everybody in the swimming pool. Oh, dear. Um, I'm from Ontario, and I'm a newlywed. And other than that, I'm just nervous and excited. And... Well, now, there's nothing to be nervous about. We're just plain folks here. Oh, okay. Oh, You're real? This, yeah, we're, we're very easy here. Okay. All right. Nervous. Marcia, you'll have the first shot at it, A or B. I'll take A. A it is. We are off and running. Mm. Well, I don't know if we're running, but we're off there. My car wouldn't start, and I just had to jog all the way over here. Oh. That's you're out of breath. Just a, just a little bit. Yes. A little bit, and I don't think you're a slob. <laughs> Thank you for straightening that out for us. Fat Fred is so fat. Today, the government declared him to be a national blank. <laughs> That's how fat he is. Fat Fred is so fat, Marcia. Today, the government declared him to be a national blank. National disaster? A national disaster. I don't think you got the idea here. Let's see if anybody got the it's idea up here. Tough. You got the idea, Peter? I don't know. I would say it would be a surplus. A national surplus. surplus. Oh. An excess of. Oh, didn't he yeah. have it either? No, he didn't have it. He he stole from him. I thought <laughs> <laughs> You gotta learn to steal from the right people if you're gonna steal. Why do you steal from him? What, Charles? I mean, people come on back. Come on back, all. Charles. <laughs> Charles and I say National Monument. There you go. Oh, oh, yeah, National good. Monument. Yeah. Fat Fred, so fat, the government declared it to be a national monument. No, a Hebrew national belonga. A Hebrew national belonga. <laughs> oh, that is fat. I mean, really fat. The fat I, content alone. Yes, right? I thought they were kind of lean, though. No, I guess they're not. What do you say, Billy Boy? Jeannie gained it all in the last two weeks, so I said emergency. A national emergency. <laughs> yeah. Sorry about that. Listen, while we're on Stay Bill, just for a second here. When Bill lived in New York, I never once in my life saw him on any TV show without a tie. Here he is out here in California now. He went Hollywood. That's right. Look at how grand he looks there. Thank you, Gene. And He's drinking a lot, too. Yes, he is. <laughs> and chasing girls. Right. Oh, oh you went all you the way, didn't you? Telling the rest, no pants. That's right. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt the rhythm here for you, Miss Petty. No, I like where we're just right where we were. Oh, all right. I, I think I got overtrained. I said he was a national park. A national park. Well, there are many of those around, and they are large indeed. Now, Jan, for you we have... Paul said it's tough being married to mean Martha. Today, she used my blank to mash potatoes. 
Now I do that. <laughs> Paul said it's tough being married to mean Martha. Today she used my blank to mash potatoes. Golf clubs. Would that well, hurt golf him? Golf club? <laughs> See, we were hoping yeah. you'd say oh, something. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Oh, the mashy. Oh, the mashy. Oh, the mashy. Oh, 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 yeah. She doesn't even know what we're answer. talking about. She thinks she was clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she was sorry. The face. Face. He's the face. face. Shove his face right in the potato. That's it. All right. Oh, that's mean as a snake. Yeah, well, that's what we had in oh, mind. Oh, no, he, she was a little mean. She was just a little cranky because she had to get up so early in the morning to dig those potatoes. A tennis racket. Tennis racket. Well, I'm with you. A <laughs> <laughs> uh, head. Head, yeah. Oh. <laughs> well, head, yeah, the head or face or any of those would be wonderful. Mean Martha, she was just mean because Paul was such a disaster in the house. Oh, he so. was just the worst, so she used his head to mash the right, potatoes. Right, just dumped his head right. right in there and thank you. Broke up those potatoes <coughs> there. She was meaner than that, Gene. Yes. <laughs> oh yeah. How she, mean was she? What? She she was so mean she used his brother to mash potatoes. Uh -huh. <laughs> Tiny Tim. Right. Right. Complicated the marriage, I'll tell you that. <laughs> All right, Betty. We may have to have a meeting. Okay. Because I went through that mashy bit, and I thought nobody would know mashy. So I said she used his putter. Aha! Uh -huh. uh -huh. There's oh. one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you thought you laid an egg. <laughs> well, I thought you laid an egg. All right, you're ahead, Jan. You'll go first. Oh, I'm sorry. My you're Jan, Jan, remember? Yes. That's um, Marcia. <laughs> <laughs> um, A, please. A. 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 All right. Bernie is the world's greatest salesman. He could sell the headless horseman a blank. <laughs> <laughs> Jan, Bernie is the world's greatest salesman. He could sell the headless horseman a blank. Oh, comb and brush. Comb and brush. <laughs> now, oh. is it Cumberbund? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> All right, Peter. I said glasses. Glasses. <laughs> oh, yeah? That's funny. That's so wonderful, Ann. I saw that there. Yeah, that was yeah. What? That's as cute an answer as I've ever heard. I thought so. Oh, sure. Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Sure, we look... She's Something never had, had it so good. Head. <laughs> yes. Not sure. I like that. I'll get my hat and go with you. Hey. I'm with Brett. Hat. All right, two of those. Hat would seem to be the answer, my dear. All right, uh -huh. Elaine. Uh, Bernie, the world's greatest salesman, could sell a headless horseman a... Toupee. Another oh, cutie. Good one. They're all good, I think. Yes. I, I'd, rather be, I'd rather be a horseman than headless, but be that as it may. Hat. Hat it is. Hat. All right. You match Betty in the previous round, so she doesn't play. Now, there we are in the middle of round two. It's one and nothing in Jan's favor. <laughs> We'll come back and give you one more shot at it right after this. Okay. Now, <laughs> Marsha, you need one to tie, two to win. Give it a shot. Dick Martin, you know why he's headless? What? Because he won't get off the horse long enough. Never mind. <laughs> we're on, you know. Oh, we are. We're on camera. Are we? Huh? It's all right. No. Dick and I were talking old times. You were? What seems were you talking about? Arthur Godfrey seems like old oh, never. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right. Now, here we, here we go. Harry said there's a place down the street with a sign that says... Hot buttered buns. Now, what's strange is the place is a blank. <laughs> now we're ready. Marsha, Harry said there's a place down the street with a sign that says hot buttered buns. What's strange is the place is a blank. A strip show where they have the strip tees and the, the, what? What the nudie shows. <laughs> uh, well, say it again. <laughs> da, 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 I didn't hear you. Da, 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 da. <laughs> oh, that. Yes, yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Get out there. The show's not going. Cut. Place down street sign says hot buttered buns. What's strange is the place is a <coughs> strip joint. There it is. Hey. Oh, yeah. One to one tight score. Well, you know, this is a funny, peculiar, eccentric town we live in. 
It's a massage parlor. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Well, you're never going to get hot buttered but, uh, in a nice house. That's true. <laughs> you can't get them in a nice house. An ice house? Ice house is what he said. It'll be a cold. I don't even have ice houses anymore. What have you got there? I said a convent. <laughs> a convent? Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. Hot cross buns. All right, Bill, you're on. YWCA. YWCA. <laughs> Unlikely. What do you say? A suntan shop. You know, they're springing up all over town. Oh, yes, yeah. they are. All right, so this game ends in a tie, and that means we have to go to a tiebreaker. Turn the lights off, if you please. Thank you. One question for each. The one who's matched the most will be the winner. And, Marsha, you may have the first go at it. I'll take A, please. A it is. Harvey said, my parents never liked me. Oh. When I was a kid, they gave me a bicycle that didn't have a blank. <laughs> I thought Mark was right, Mark. Good words. <laughs> Harvey said, my parents never liked me. When I was a kid, they gave me a bicycle that didn't have a blank. Uh, wheels. Wheels. Yeah. All right. Do that. It's very Brought difficult. your whole fan club with you, didn't you, Marshall? <laughs> All right. Never had a break. I never, never had, had a break. break. Yeah. I could have been a contender. Never had a break. <laughs> no breaks. I yes. could have been a contender, Marty. I never had a break. No break there. <laughs> Something a little more painful. A seat. Yeah. Seat. Yeah. That would really hurt. It would be very difficult to ride a bicycle without a seat, wouldn't it? It would hurt, that's true. But I said they wanted to get rid of him, so they gave it to him without a brake. Brakes, <laughs> yep. All right. He lived way up on a hill, you know? Oh, yes. <laughs> In San Francisco. <laughs> so long, son. <laughs> Come home early from school. <laughs> it's the All end right. of him. <laughs> what have you got there? That's how Dick and I got this way. Seat. Seat. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Walk this way. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, I could Would walk that way if I had a bicycle seat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Betty. <laughs> easy for him to yeah, say. Yeah, it's easy for him to say. Well, you can always drag your feet if you don't have a break, but I'd like to see what you drag well now. Right. <laughs> okay. A bicycle without a seat. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Now, time for a little commercial break here. We'll go on and see if we break the tie right after this. So long. Marcia's had her tie-breaking question. Jan, that means your uh, yeah, positions are a little reversed here now because all you need is one to win, which is almost the position she was in last time. General Bernice the Bear said, Me live with gentle Ben many years. Me have no little bears. You know why? Because Ben Blank. Can I see that? Yes. There's something wrong with me. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Ready, Peter? Here we go. Jan. Gentle Bernice the bear said, me live with gentle Ben many years. Me have no little bears. You know why? Because Ben blank. Snores. <laughs> Shall we eliminate that part and go right to tiebreaker number two? <laughs> to be continued tomorrow. Oh, that's funny. Uh, I love it. Ben oh. snores. Huh? Oh. You know... Besides. I have known many men who snore. I'm a terrible snorer myself, but that I does know, not prevent... I know, No, well, don't worry about it. <laughs> Together, oh. in unison. All right. You, you keep quiet. I didn't right? say a All word. Right. All right, Peter. Uh, gentle man, I had originally too gentle, and then I said not gentile. No. <laughs> but he was not gentle. He was not gentle. No. no. That's why they never... Ben Blue. Ben Blue. <laughs> <laughs> a little mime, a little yeah, mime. Right. I can't make any headway with a blue man. No, I don't know. Oh, a man who's blue. <laughs> because Ben Gay. Ben Gay. Yeah.
You got it now? You understand, I, do you? Yeah. Good. Hello, Elaine. Hello. How are you? Okay. Good. Ben Gay, part two. Ben Gay. <laughs> What do you got there, Bill? Ben too gentle. Ben too gentle. Oh, yeah. Yes, gentle Ben, yes. Ben three gentle. Ben three gentle. <laughs> so we go to tiebreaker number two. <laughs> it's a fierce battle that's been taking place up here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh. You went first last time, so Jan, you'll go first this time. A, please. Hey, it is. Hey. <laughs> no winner, but a terrific show. Right. Yeah. Gladys said, I just played strip poker with Tony. On the last hand, Tony didn't see my bet. Instead, he saw my blank. <laughs> Was this Vanessa or Van? Gladys. Oh, Gladys. Oh, Gladys. Oh, Gladys. Oh, Gladys. Oh, Gladys. Gee, were you there? No, you have to guess that. We can't repeat it for you. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. There it is. Gladys said I just played strip poker with Tony on my last Wait, hand. Tony Marshall doesn't have an answer in his little... Well, no, I'm reading it for her. I'll run the show, Brad. You <laughs> shut up. Gladys said I just played strip poker with Tony. On the last hand, Tony didn't see my bet. Instead, he saw my bet. We'll get to you in a second. <laughs> <laughs> she can't see, she can't hear, and she's telling me how to run the show. <laughs> I've been working with Charles too long. <laughs> I forgot my answer. Oh. All right. Gladys said I just played strip poker with Tony on the last hand. Tony didn't see my bet. Instead, he saw my blank. Chest. Chest. Uh, Chest. I think I misspelled it. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> no, sweetheart. Bust. Bust. Oh. All right. I have a feeling this is not a match. Uh, stack. So My stack. stack. <laughs> However. All right. So long, Brett. All right. Mm. What's going on? Oh, oh that's no, right. Brett's just... gone down to get some... On uh, the last hand, Tony friends. didn't see my bet. Instead, he saw my blank. Uh, boob. All right. <laughs> Two. You get so excited when yeah. someone says... Pot. Pot. Yes. Yeah. Oh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> right. I like Betty. that. He didn't see my bet. He saw my husband. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Who came home at the most inopportune time. <laughs> So, Marcia, she has two. That means you'll need two to tie, three to win. At Leo's Diner, the soup has so much hair in it, before Leo serves it, he blanks it. At Leo's diner, the soup has so much hair in it, before Leo serves it, he blanks it. Combs it or brushes it? Combs it. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. I was going to say, he parts it. He parts no, it. No, but I said comb. Comb. Yeah. All right, Peter. <laughs> I was going to say juice heart, but I did. I said comb. <laughs> I understand. That's two to two. Tie score. It's still two to two. Blow dries it. Blow dries it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> wouldn't he say that? <laughs> wouldn't he just, though? All right, here it is. Before, he's so much hair in the soup before Leo serves it, he blinks it. He brushes it. Brushes it. Oh. Uh, that was brushing close. is different from combing. Two to two. The tie remains two to two. Could go on forever. Combs. Combs. Yes. <laughs> And we'll be back a little bit later to play uh, game number two. So we're going to wheel this thing right around and see you a little bit later. We'll have you go at the big money in a moment or so. Right now, we have this for you. How much time we got here, Ira? He got it. Ten he seconds. Got it. Hmm. What would you like to do in ten seconds? Same thing you used to do in ten minutes. Never. See you over here. Join us next time for the match game. Goodbye. They're sharp. They're smooth. To them, life's just one big game. They're Rayburn's 11.
Roller, <laughs> Eubanks, Hall, Lugger, Dawson, Perry, Combs, Convy, Tamarkin, Trebek, and Rayburn, the ringleader. Daytime is playtime at Rayburn's 11, weekday starting at 9, 8 central on GSN. How are you? Okay. Good. Ben Gay, part two. Ben Gay. What do you got there, Bill? Ben Too Gentle. Ben Too Gentle.